Good morning. Um, I was just, this will probably be a pretty quick video. Um, but as I was sitting here this morning, um, and I've been watching videos, which I probably shouldn't, but I do. Um, there are these crazy stories of how people were being used by God and how God told them to like leave a certain job or whatever, and God would take care of them. Um, and and the guy basically told him all the crazy things and um how to just trust god um and um i can't remember the the name for for trust um but there's a certain word um hold on um but there's a word in hebrew and it means bold it means to trust like trust means to like one thousand percent trust him like you have bold it's kind of like uh, just being bold about it and knowing that um, it's a thousand percent correct. Um, in having faith, it's it's believing without a shadow of a doubt um, that God will come through for you. Um, and it has to do with health. It has to do with everything else. And the Shepherd of Hermas um, like um, goes through this as well. And like he he has a time of and basically he's like, why did my faith, um, why was my faith strong? And it's because, well, the world dulled it, um, kind of thing. Um, but when we believe the lies of the world, when we believe that we don't have the power, um, through God to heal ourselves, uh, when we, um, believe all the BS lies of this world, like, oh, well, you won't have enough money to do blah, blah, blah. Or, oh, well, you shouldn't do this because it'll cost you this, this, and this. Um, that's straight from the enemy. Um, most of the, my life, I've always been worried about, about money and about food and about things. Um, and as I look back, I'm like, okay, wow, that's, uh, everything that in my life, no matter what, um, has been provided for me. Um, God says to not worry. God says that I will provide for you. God says if the, if you're mine, um, I mean, just like the, the grass of the field and the birds of the air, um, he'll take care of you. He knows every single one of where his critters and people are. If you would just turn to him and say, okay, God, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to trust you in this. Um, then he can change your lives. Um, the people that are struggling, the people that are like having issues with bills or having issues with health and having all these different things, they're not trusting God. And that's, that's the biggest difference. Um, and people can say that, oh, well, yeah, I'm trusting God. And then they do all this other stuff and disproving, um, that, um, um, th what God is saying. And also, um, <clears throat> I mean, there are people that are claiming that they're Christian and believing God when they're leading a sham of a life. They're going to sports games, they're watching TV, they're, um, drinking fornicating and doing all this it's like you can't live that life um god will still support you because he he has in my life but he does not like like it in 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 those situations sometimes he makes you go through things that you don't want to go through because he's trying to wake you up the reason why bad things happen to good people is to wake you up and to have him or um and it may be something that you need to go through to strengthen you and um god uses the fire um to to mold and shape you like in my life i've had a lot of shaping and a lot of pain and misery um and hard things to go through because they were refining me and god refines us in the fire and this life is only but a breath um compared i mean Compare this life, which is 40, 50, 80 years, to all of eternity that's like millions upon millions upon millions of years. Um, so this is just like a, it's a testing ground. God wants to see where where you will put your trust um, and who you will put your trust in. Um, if you put the your trust in people or in this world, you're going to fail every time. Um, if you put your trust fully in God and don't doubt um, then, um, yeah, then you will succeed. And God says that, um, we're here to rebuke, uh, spirits. We're here to teach. Um, 
And it says in his word, I can't remember if it's in John or Matthew, or it's in the gospel, it says that you can do everything that I can do and even more. Um, so we can heal uh, heal the sick. We can um, cast out demons in the name of Yeshua. We can do all the things that we need to do here on earth um, that Jesus did. And I was, I've was i been reading the book of Nazarene and he calls us brothers and he wants us to fight alongside of him. And that means that we have the same strength and ability that he does. Um, and that, I mean, it's, um, we were all made in the image of, of God and we are all, um, we're all connected to him uh, through our soul. We're connected to him and we have, have that power that is inside of us. This is, some of us have dulled that power because we refuse to listen to, <laughs> to him and not, and we instead listen to the world. So, um, but God will direct you and lead you where you need to go. He'll, um, he'll cause things to happen that you're like, wow, that was, uh, <laughs> there's no other way to explain it, um, but God. Um, so, but you need to have faith. Oh, sorry. Um, but it says that you need to have faith. It says that you need to not doubt. Um, and he, he, he talks about doubt and, and basically calls it like a boat on rough seas. Um, it's like what doubt does. Um, so, um, or like a boat without a rudder. It's like, if you've ever been on a boat or on a kayak and you don't have a rudder way to steer, uh, the boat goes all over the place. Um, so our rudder is him. Um, and he will guide us and lead us. Um, if you're struggling right now, I pray that you get, um, the help that you need. And I know just go to Yeshua and he'll, he'll help you out. Um, he'll provide what you need no matter what. Don't, don't believe, okay, well, I'm this amount of money in debt and I'm never going to get out of this. It's like, well, God has a, uh, has a way of getting you out of that situation. Um, so I hope and pray that you all just go to him, read his word, um, and spend more time in the word. Um, make, uh, he should be your number one. If he's not your number one, there's something wrong. Um, so please go to him now and please, uh, get in his word. Um, I'm sitting on the floor, by the way. Um, and I have a dog that's behind me and so that's the licking that you're hearing. Um, but have a blessed morning and have, have, and I hope that each and every one of you have a, a blessed day. Bye for now.